All right, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and dismantle all this. I already moved the power station and disconnected everything for you. But I, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I'm using here. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is that I've got a really big positive cable going to my battery. That's because when I went and got my cables put together for me by Traffic Jams, who really treated me well, so if you're in the Tri-Cities or anywhere else where there's a Traffic Jams, check them out because I went in and I, I told them what I needed and they thought I just needed cables, but because my hand was in a splint, I couldn't actually crimp everything. So <laughs> I said, well, gee guys, can you, can you do the crimping for me? And they said, oh yeah, no problem. And they crimped it all together, put everything together for me. And I forgot to ask them for one more cable. I needed one more eight gauge cable. I don't need this big battery cable. It just happened to be something that I had left over from years gone by. So, but thank you, Traffic Jams for that. It really helped me out. All right, let's see if I can get this thing apart. So what we've got here is we've got a simple battery disconnect and it has a voltage readout on the top of it, which is really kind of nice. And you just turn it, boom, like that. And the way these go together is you have your battery positive on one lug, then the positive on the other side going to whatever unit you're gonna run, in this case, this 48 volt converter. And then you have one more negative that goes to your battery and that just allows it to read the voltage. You don't really need this if you don't care about the voltage readout. I like it, it's kind of cool. So if you put that in, you're good to go. And then the negative side goes directly to that step up converter which I have here, and it is, it is kind of warm. They do get warm, folks. And all that is, is your step-up converter. It has your battery side cables, which are, they look like eight gauge cables. I couldn't read them, but those look like eight gauge cables to me. And those go to your source power, your, your 12 volt or 24 volt battery. And then you've got your yellow and your black, which goes to your output going to the power station. And you don't have to put MC4s on like I did. That's just so that I can quickly change those out. And the only, the only other thing that I used was a Bouge RV kit that I bought. And yes, I bought it. So in case you're wondering, know they didn't send it to me. It's kind of a handy little kit because it comes with MC4 tools, which I've never had before. I put my system together at the cabin and frankly, that's it, I walk away from it. But in this case, these are kind of nice because you can stick them on your MC4s, and then if your thumbs work, you can disconnect them. Instead of trying to pinch them with your fingers and all that kind of crazy stuff. So that's kind of nice, I was pretty happy to get that. And there you go. I can now change that out to an XT60 or an XT90. And then this switch here, you can see it's kind of all apart. It comes with, all the parts necessary to build it, put it on a platform or something so that you can have like a, maybe you're building like a cart or something that you wanna be able to transport around. You could connect that to it. And you don't have to have this, but I really do recommend one of these little fuse boxes. This one here, I'll open that up for you and show it to you. Has two lugs and you just connect your fuse in between the two lugs and then run your cables to it and you're done. That's it, folks. That's all there is to it. So I hope I helped somebody out today. I appreciate you watching. I'll drop another video right here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jarhead out.